Hey what's up guys I'm Lan here. In this video we're gonna discuss about some of the features that I have got with my iPhone uh, iOS 13.5. So as you can see this is an iPhone XR and recently in a video I have posted how you can update your iPhone to iOS 13.5. So if you haven't checked that video out I will leave a card round in the corner you can go ahead and check that video out. So in this video we're gonna discuss about some of the new features that just came on my iPhone XR with iOS 13.5 so before starting the video if you guys keep kind of enjoy this content then definitely go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and also if you're new here go ahead and subscribe to my channel and with that being said let's get right into the video So as you can see, I'm on my home screen. So let me show you. Let me go to the settings. And if I go to the settings, let me go to the general and let me go to the about. So as you can see, it says 13.5 and it's an iPhone XR. So here are all the details. So now let me talk about some of the new features that recently came with iOS 13.5. Now talking about iOS 13.5, it completely focuses on the medical health and the medical ID and some of the new features that you guys have been waiting for. So let me show you what are the new features. So one by one. So let me first go to this privacy and if we go to privacy and then we, if we go to health as you can see this came as a new option COVID-19 exposure logging. So specifically uh, for India this is not available as you can see it's not available in your region but I have heard that it's working fine with some of the other region in uh, other countries as well. So basically when enabled it can trace the random medical IDs uh, using your bluetooth so that's one thing so if you go on the health section in your privacy you would be able to see this covid19 exposure logging so that's one thing so now let me show you the other features as well so let me go back and let me go to this health so if i go to health so you can see there's a medical id option so you can create your medical id it just asks you for your basic stuff so as you can see my name information and height so this is your medical id and also you can enable this medical id uh, for your emergency purposes on your lock screen so, so this is about creating all your medical id so i would highly recommend if you're using an iphone go ahead in your health option and create your medical id so one of the new features that came with facetime is so if you are very much familiar with the facetime you know that when multiple people join the facetime and somebody speaks that the tile gets bigger so there's a dedicated option given by apple now if you don't want your tile to be bigger when you're speaking you can disable this option from right here so speaking you can disable it so it won't make the tile bigger when anybody is speaking so that's there so now talking about one of the most features that we have all been waiting you know what's going on in the world right now it has become very difficult for us to unlock our iphone while wearing a mask so right here i have an iphone also for this video i would be using this mask right now so normally what happens so let's suppose you're wearing a mask no this is what happens so swipe up face id or enter passport so with the latest ios 13.5 update you get an option for swipe up face id or enter passcode immediately so let me demonstrate you that so guys right now i'm wearing a mask so let's just uh click the switch off button and once it is off let's try to unlock the device so let me go ahead and try to unlock the device and within a moment i can see as it detected i'm wearing a mask it gave me an option swipe off for face id or enter a passcode so it don't take three to five seconds for pass codes to be enabled so it immediately gave me an option whether i would uh, need to use the face id or enter pass so this became a very useful and very handy feature in situations like this i would highly recommend you guys use all these features so apart from these there are many changes as well so these are some of the few important and new features that i was able to notice on my iphone xr which is running on ios 13.5 if you guys are using ios 13.5 on any of your iphone comment down below what are the new features that you're able to see after you have updated your iphone to the latest ios also comment down below if you would like to see other videos or any specific videos 
on ios so comment those in the comment section below and this was just a short video guys showing you all the new features for iphone ios 13.5 then again if you have liked the video give this video a huge thumbs up and also for more videos like this go ahead and subscribe to my channel and with that being said you guys have a great day bye bye